this one. All right. So our angle variables on our sheet are alpha and beta. You can use a capital A and B if you prefer, or you might see theta sub one or theta sub two. So all we're gonna do is have a problem that says something like this. We're just gonna jump into an example. Express sine four X minus sine two X as a product. So what we have right now is a sum. I mean, when I look at it, I say, well, that's a difference because it has subtraction, but adding and subtracting or relating, a sum is just a negative addition problem. I mean, a, a difference is just a negative addition problem. And we want to change it to a sum. So that's why we're not going to know that we're going to look on the bottom of our sheet. You're going to find the one that has a sign minus another sign. Put your finger on that formula. And all we're going to do first is copy the right hand side of that down. It says two cosine parentheses alpha plus beta over two close parentheses sine parentheses alpha minus beta over two close the parentheses. So do you see that this 4x is our alpha and this 2x is our beta? Those are our two angles, 4x and 2x. So we're just going to substitute those into the formula. Every place there's an alpha, we're putting 4x. Every place there's a beta, we're putting 2x. So alpha gets a 4x and beta gets a 2x. And then we put a sign. Alpha gets a 4x minus beta gets a 2x over 2. So we substituted our values in place of our variables. So I'm going to work out every step. We're going to have 2 cosine. I'm going to work inside my parentheses. 4x plus 2x is 6x over 2. 4x minus 2x is 2x over 2. All I did was add my numerators. Now I do the division. 6x divided by 2 is... 3x, 2x divided by 2 is just x. Notice that what we have right now is a product. It is 2 multiplied by cosine 3x multiplied by sine x. So it is a product because the only operation we have is multiplication. So we have expressed it as a product. We are done. That's it. All right, let's do another together. We're going to take cosine of 13x minus cosine of 3x. And we're going to do the same instructions. We want to express this as a product. So since it says to do a product, you would go to your trig chart and go down to where it says sum to product and find the one that has cosine minus cosine. Do you see it in the bottom right hand corner? So we're going to write that down. Minus 2 sine parentheses alpha plus beta over 2 sine parentheses alpha minus beta over 2. Okay, so some things to watch out for. See, this one had a negative 2. The other formula had a positive 2. 
So you have to be careful that you are using the correct formula because they're all very similar, but they have these little differences. All right, what is our alpha this time? 13x is what is alpha. So everywhere there's an alpha, we're going to put a 13x. What is our beta? 3x. So everywhere there's a 3x, we're going to put our beta. So minus 2 sine 13x plus 3x over 2 sine 13x minus 3x over 2. And now I'm going to do the adding and the dividing all at once. So I'm going to have minus 2 sine 13x plus 3x makes 16x. 16x divided by 2 is 8x. 13x minus 3x is 10x. 10x divided by 2 is 5x. And that problem is done. Okay, I'm going to write down uh, four problems, copy these four down, and these four questions are your homework. It should take you all of five minutes. All right, so numbers three, four, five, and six. It's cosine 5x plus cosine 3x. Number four is sine x plus sine 5x. Number 5 is sine 11x minus sine 3x. And number 6 is cosine 9x plus cosine 3x. So you will do those four problems for homework. <laughs> 